This is going to be a tutorial on how to solve a 3x3x4. Originally this is going to be my first tutorial after I found an algorithm online for the 5x5 five five that works perfectly pretty much for parity. And I, when I looked through some other tutorials I noticed that most of the stuff that used to solve 3x3x4 three three is referenced from the domino. So I figured I'd make a tutorial for that first so I could reference back from it then I'd start this tutorial. So first we're going to need a scrambled cube. So the way this works is you solve this inner 1 by 3 by 3 strip then this one just like you would and on the domino same method same way solve the pieces any method from the domino can be ported onto this cuboid and then you solve this layer this layer and then you fix whatever's been done to these pieces and that's that's pretty much an overview of the method. So if you recall on the domino, first things first you solve the down layer, then the up layer. So you're gonna solve this strip first, then this strip. So when you start off on the domino you solve the edges intuitively. And since they're both the same color scheme, and if you have it one under the normal color scheme, this should work out as well. So if it's white on top, yellow on the bottom, it's red, blue, orange, green, going around counterclockwise. And one last thing, when you solve these inner strips, try to make sure that you have the up and the down centers on the right side, because if you find out that they're flipped, then that can be a real pain and you have to start over again. So yeah, here I have white on top, I always solve with yellow on the bottom, so red, blue, orange, green, so this is all intuitive, you just do left, right, front, back turns and middle slice turns to do this. So there's a blue. Orange would belong next to it. This is all intuitive. Green, orange, green, red. So red, blue, orange, green. So once you have that done then you work on corners just like the demo. So one thing I'd like to point out, since there's since there's more centers and edges like, instead of just one edge, you have two edges next to each other where it's solved, which forms a dead, just like on the 4x4. Because of that, you can have two edges that both have the colors you're looking for, and that can really mess things up when you're solving. Like, let me explain how this works. So here's the blue and orange centers. There'd be edges if it was a domino, but they're basically right forward, they're centers. And here's a blue and orange edge. Now notice it's they, these colors match like it's the blue it's on this side, orange on this side, just like the centers when you do that algorithm right, up, right, up backwards right, just see one on the domino notice this edge goes in flipped see the thing is if you undo it you'll notice this actually belongs here Beca because of the way the colors are flipped if you have everything else solved around it, you'd notice this looks solved anyways because the colors match. So whenever you find an edge to place or the equivalent of a corner on the domino, you need to make sure that it's the same colors as the centers, I'm trying to pair it up to, but it's switched. So like here's blue orange, blue orange, but notice the orange is next to the blue, blue's next to the orange. Flipped. Do that algorithm. And it goes in right. And you just do this for all the rest of the the ed edge corners, whatever you want to call it. Flipped. Do that algorithm. And for the rest, of the last one. There, you have one strip solved. If it, if you, it, if you did this on a domino, it would be the equivalent of the down layer solved. Up layer would be left unsolved. And on the 3x3x4, you just have to do this strip. Then you work on the other layers. So, just like on the domino, you work out corners on the upper layer next. So, you look for headlights. If you have them, do this algorithm. If you don't, you can either, actually, you can do this algorithm twice and solve either case. But if you want to learn a second algorithm, so you can do it just one it's just one set of moves then I'll show the second one so you look for headlights happen to have them here right match them up to their color put them to the left 
and do that algorithm I showed in the domino video. Solved. Now if you have no headlights, I told you that algorithm, what it does is it actually switches this piece and this piece, leaves these undisturbed. It screws up some edges, but that doesn't matter because we're not at that step yet. Since it switches to adjacents, you could actually do that twice and solve it if it didn't have any headlights. But once again, if you want to just learn the algorithm, here it is. So you look, no headlights. You do, what you want to do is match two corners that are diagonally opposite from each other. See here is orange and blue matched, green and red matched, and then place it so the unsolved corners are on the front right, back left, and then do this algorithm. And your corners are solved. And then next you just sort through the last layer edges as you would on the domino. So here if I swap these two I'll solve the red. And here I see I have blue and green. It can be swapped with that simple algorithm. And you have these solved. Now what you move on to next is solving this layer and this layer, just like you did before. But you'll notice because when you sort through the algorithms, you'll end up turning these layers, and that can mess, that'll end up messing them up. All that matters is that the edge pairs are still paired up, and the centers are still paired up. If, it, as long as those are paired up, anything that's screwed up with the edges can just be solved with some simple, the right three algorithms. So let's quick sort to this. So here's green and yellow, go on the bottom, then here's orange and yellow, blue and yellow, and there's red and yellow. Then you solve corners, so here's blue and red piece, belongs in the last layer. Do that algorithm, blue and orange. green and red. And once again, notice if you have a piece that's in, in the last layer, but wrong colors, just solve, put another piece there, whether it solves it or not, and then it'll end up in the last layer, then you can solve it from there. Green, green, orange. And last layer, I happen to have headlights here, so I do that algorithm. Corner solved, and then sort through the edges using those algorithms as they work. Here's an easy one I can just solve with one algorithm. Alright, you'll notice you have this layer solved, this layer solved, and your centers and edges in the middle are still paired up. Now, what you need to do is there's only two 3x3 three three cases that can really appear in here, and there's also parity, which isn't too hard as long as you memorize a very simple algorithm. So I'll show first I'll show these cases without parrying them with parity. I'll show these on three by three as well and make it easier to understand. So with the three by three by four there's two cases if you're not counting parity where the edges need to be fixed. First thing you do is you want to make sure the centers match up. It's like here's this green center match the green on the top, green on the bottom do that because if you stick to if you when you're solving this top layer this layer as long as you don't do any moves like this it should keep the centers paired up so they shouldn't be messed up they're still paired just rotate it wrong and then just match them up and then for your edges you can have one two cases there's this one where you have where all four edges are screwed up you'll notice if you look two of the sides will look solved two of them will have opposite colors. 3x3, three three, exact same thing. The case is where these two and these two need to be switched. The, that's what the algorithm does. It's very simple, so you just do and 
and it fixed it. So here's a demonstration on my 3x3x4. Three three Very easy to memorize algorithm. Now the other case is somewhat more non-trivial, but it's it's pretty similar and it's only one move away from the other algorithm. So what you have here is one of the edges is already matched, solved, the other three just need to be rotated. The algorithm for this you want to first of all look, put the edge that's solved already, make sure that's your front left, and then you want to make sure, see because it's going to be flipped two ways with it still being solved and in the right position, you want this edge to have to go here, or to edge if you're referring to 3x3x4, three three because you'll notice if you're holding it the wrong way, it has to go counterclockwise, and that's not what the algorithm does. So here, you'll notice this is actually the wrong way to hold it, because this is blue and red, it actually has to go here, not here. So I'm going to flip it over. Here's green and red. It has to go there. The algorithm will cycle this here, this here, this here, clockwise, three-edge cycle. Do the simple algorithm. Very simple. Same thing on 3x3. Three three. Flip this over the right way. Here's orangey green. Has to go there. Make that cycle. Very simple. That's all the algorithms you need to remember. For normal cases, for parity, it can be a little bit tricky, but it's fairly simple, this algorithm I've learned. So this would be the optimal case, where the, the parity is just you need two that just switched. The algorithm switches front left, front right, so you make sure the edges are there when you switch them. Now if you have a case where they're diagonal from each other, you just need to use setup moves, but I'll explain the optimal first. So you hold it so your front left and front right are the ones that need to be switched. The rest are solved, you see, and then do a simple algorithm. Now if you have them diagonal from each other, just do a setup move like this, hold them so one of them is either front left or front right, doesn't matter. Do a dot half turn on the side that the other one's on, so there you have front left, front right again, do the algorithm. And then of course undo your setup move. And you have solved your 3x3x4. Three three Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave a comment on stuff that I can improve for future videos. Leave a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more of Jerry's videos, then just subscribe. I think about doing more animations soon, so yeah, I could have some awesome stuff in the coming weeks. Yeah, thanks for watching.